There is no business like college t-shirt business. This is what sophomore Lauren Gossel has come to know. I saw a couple like acid wash cut up shirts like on Instagram. It's like, oh, that's so cool. But like, I don't want to pay for that. I went down in the basement, found bleach and I was like, oh, I guess that'll work. And I cut it up, poured bleach all over it. And that's how the first shirt got started. She started selling her shirts through good old fashioned word of mouth. I, I gave it to my best friend at Auburn. All her friends were like, wait, can you make me one? Okay, I guess I can make money off this and actually start a thing. But to get to the next level, she needed the help of something a little more modern. Now in our day, like a lot of people use Instagram as a way of promotion and starting businesses. So I was like, why not? Behind this small student run business, is a big mission. So my sister, her name is Morgan, she's 15 years old. She has called mitochondrial disease. It affects the mitochondria, which is the powerhouse of the cell, gives you energy. And she just doesn't function like a normal child. So she's always gonna be dependent on me or my parents. The United Mitochondrial Disease Foundation is where I will be donating part of the proceeds in her name and her honor, so yeah. Starting off comes with a small size of nervousness but the reward comes in extra large. I was definitely nervous at first because I was like, I don't know how people would perceive this, if it would get like a good following or anything, but if you love it, I would just say keep doing it because the people that matter are definitely gonna support you and you're gonna be doing what you love. For Lariat TV News, I'm Igor Stepchinsky.